Hello and welcome to another Blender tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to make GIFs or export our video files as GIFs through Blender. So um, there's a few ways you can do this. Um, the first one is you can export as PNG files or JPEGs. I prefer JPEGs because they're smaller and more compact. And then you would use a external program like GIMP or some other program to process those individual frames into a GIF file. But the problem is, you know, that's exported in one place, imported into another, and I did test that and it took me about 10 minutes to export a simple GIF. So I was looking at other options here. So one of the options is actually probably the best bet you have is actually adding an add-on onto your Blender program. So this one is actually open source and it will work on Windows, Mac, and of course Linux. So the install instructions are a little bit different for each one. So I'm going to try to briefly go over it. So basically you need two dependencies, two different programs right here in order to have this plugin or I should say add-on to work properly. Now I'm based on Arch Linux because I'm running on Manjaro but the problem is when I tried to install this plugin I also had to install it manually in order for it to show up. So your use case might vary but this is after this is set up this is the best way to export GIFs. Um, there's a lot of cool tools which I'll show you in a little bit here. So let's go to Blender. This is our file right here. Um, now we want to go to edit preferences and then we want to go to add-ons so as you can see it's not here as I search it um, but what you need to do is go to this github site and grab the latest release for your computer so for Linux and Mac it's the zip file we already have it downloaded so we don't have to do that and Windows it's Windows zip so self-explanatory um, so what we do is we go into Blender Preferences and we hit the Install button and then wherever you downloaded that file, you don't want to unzip it. You actually want to keep it the way it is and you select it and then you click Install Add-on. And then you click this box right here and when you're on Windows, um, you kind of want to set up a path. But since I already installed all the other dependencies, I don't have to make a path to that. But if you do on Linux, uh, all you have to do is, uh, I think it's users, share applications, and then click on uh, the individual ones corresponding to that. But I didn't have to, so we're going to leave it as is. Now we're going to close this, and now you see that we have another tool. So this is all the different options here. Um, it makes it really easy to set up the frame rate and stuff like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab this intro, and we're going to... Um, remove the sound because we don't need that and then we're going to adjust the FPS that way it's a lot smoother um, and plus it'll make it a lot faster. Um, you could do this manually but just hitting one button really will fix it and now we're going to render it. So we're going to render it to our desktop here and we're going to hit render GIF and then let it go through its paces. You'll probably hear my fans maybe ramp up for a second on my GPU but anyway, so now when we go to our desktop, we have the GIF here. So um, it doesn't really play that well, so I'm going to just go into my Discord chat and just drop it in. I oh, know. There we go. All right, after some troubleshooting, you just have to re upload. So that looks really good. So if I skip to the previous one I done and wait for it, and wait for it. See how slow that is? And that's because I didn't adjust the FPS. But if, but with this one, it's adjusted. And you can see how much faster it is and smoother it is. So I definitely recommend this uh, program uh, or this add-on. It makes workflow really easy instead of, you know, just going to, you know, external program like GIMP and then rendering because it, Overall, it takes me about um, 10 minutes to do the same thing. And this only took, you know, maybe five minutes, including the install. So I definitely recommend it. And uh, 
thank you, Xavier, for uh, making that suggestion on to cover that. And to be honest, when I started uh, looking into this, uh, there wasn't a lot of options. So with all the research I did, this was the best option. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video, and I hope it helped you out. If you have any suggestions of what I should cover with Blender for video editing, let me know in the comments. I'm really open to hearing your suggestions. And make sure you subscribe for more videos. I'm actually going to soon cover another add-on to help the performance on your video sequence editor here. So stay tuned, and I'll see you guys in the next one.